Hello and welcome to your third introductory video for your foundations and computing class. And in this we're going to go over the keyboarding component of your class. You need to do 40 minutes of, of keyboarding per credit, uh, which is not too bad. You can spread it out over several days and it's less than 10 minutes a day. So um, you'll, you do that by clicking here on the website on the keybr.com uh, logo. It will take you to the website. Uh, it tells you, hey, look, you can learn touch typing. Um, what you will need to do is sign in because otherwise you won't be able to track your progress. So you sign in using, uh, you can use Facebook, or you can use Google, uh, or you can use uh, some sort of other email. I like to use Google. Type in your email address and your login and it my, your name pops up here in the corner. So once you enter your email address and password, you're logged in here and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, you can just simply start typing if you'd like to. And it will... Uh, you have down here at the bottom of the screen, it shows you what uh, key you need to type next so it's easy to uh, get out of the habit of looking at the keyboard when you're typing or learning touch typing as they say. You can make the screen bigger by touching these buttons up here to change the uh, layout format. You can go dark if you want to uh, and again you can adjust the sizes here however you like. Uh, so that's that's this and now the other thing you need to be aware of is the my profile tab here this is where it shows you how long you've spent on task I type a whopping 45 words per minute uh, which is my top speed my average speed is 30 words per minute because I'm not a very fast typer uh, but I'm fast enough as they say so um, this is where you can tell if you spent enough time for the credit so uh, this needs to say 40 for your first credit, 80 for your second credit, and so on. It's just your fours times tables. So good luck with that. Um, again, log, make sure you're logged in. Make sure you share your login. You don't have to share your password, but you do need to share your login email address with your teacher so they make sure that it's your account and you're tracking your typing. All right, guys, that's it for the typing practice. Again, you get there by just typing clicking on the link here you make sure you're logged in and make sure that you're logged out when you're done so somebody else uh, doesn't have the misfortune of spending a bunch of time typing and having it be attributed to you although that would be nice so you could hope for that uh, it would be what we call unethical so uh, good luck with the class hope you learn a lot of great stuff and hope you get a great job this keyboarding is an important part of that because uh, they rec most places require you to type 30 words per minute or better uh, in order to get some sort of a clerical job. All right, guys, thanks for listening and have a great class.